you can add custom wallpapers onto your Xbox really easily and have your console go from this to this, which is way cooler. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Depending on which generation of Xbox you own, this will dictate what type of options you have when it comes to selecting a wallpaper. If you're on the older Xbox One, the Xbox One S, you will only be able to have like a static background such as this one here, like a solid color, which is kind of boring. But if you have the newer Xbox Series S or X, you have the option to add dynamic backgrounds which have moving elements. But something you can do regardless of the console you have is add custom images that can be whatever you want, which is really nice. Now, there are a few ways you can add a custom image. First, you go to settings and go over to personalization, and then you can go down to my backgrounds. And then there's the option here to add customized image. Now you can add custom images via Bing and other resources as well, but this is the way that I found that's actually the easiest and also you get the best quality wallpaper actually applied onto your Xbox. So if you are gaming at 4K, you've got this connected to a 4K display, it's going to look really nice and tidy. So inside of the customized image tab, it will open up this cool little sort of file explorer, which looks very reminiscent of Windows. And down here, you can do a few different options. So you can download like an app on your phone that lets you share images, basically acts as like a server and you can share images to your console. Again, I just find it's a bit clunky because it's another app that you have to download. My preferred method is just literally using a USB stick. So down here, I've plugged in a USB stick into my Xbox. And when you plug in an external storage device, whether that be a USB stick or, or an external SSD, uh, this prompt will appear on the screen. And then basically you can dive in here and you can access these files literally as you would on Windows. And see here, I've got all my different images down below. Now there's something really important that you need to bear in mind to the images that you choose and that's the size of the files now there's a maximum size of a file so i've got two different options that i want to show you here so i've got some large file examples that are too large uh, these are sort of like the raw images and you can see all of these images exceed five megabytes so if we tried this cool halo image you'll be met with this prompt on your screen basically saying the image has to be under five megabytes so what i've done is i've put a load of images together in a wallpaper pack that are all of the correct specifications and have the best possible sort of compression on them so they're the right size to be all working on your Xbox, the 4K, they look fantastic, but you won't have this issue. So I've done all of this work for you, put them in a folder and you literally get 50 images that also work on your mobile. It's like literally like less than like 10p or something an image. It's, it's insane. So if you were to actually use my wallpaper pack that has a variety of different themes, these are just some of the images. You know, you got some stuff inspired by, inspired by Halo, you know, Red Dead Redemption, all sorts of cool different titles. You would just simply download it from my website and then unzip the file and drag and drop this file onto your USB stick and then plug this into your console. Then from here, it's super easy. Just head over to your customized images, go over to the USB stick. Obviously you'll have the correct size images from here. And then you can just browse through the different themes. So you can see here we've got different categories. We've got uh, some game themes such as like Halo and all that type of stuff. You know, some racing games. Through here, we've got some landscape ones as well, which are you know, a bit more aesthetic. And I'm gonna show you something really cool that you can do in order to tie all of this in with your gaming setup in just a minute. Then got ones that are sort of cyberpunk, cyber world inspired type stuff, some sort of cool pink images and city type vibes. And then there's some a little bit different stuff here. But my personal favorite is actually the minimalistic category where you've got these really simple ones. Now, all of these have been designed. I worked with some incredibly talented girls that are like graphic designers to put these together. So they're not AI generated images like some people who just put some AI generated images and charge people for it. These have been like drawn by some insane artists They're using like Procreate, Adobe Illustration, a variety of different software that like is beyond my capabilities and they've helped my vision come to life. So I spent a lot of time and money putting this pack together for you guys to use. And I'd love for you to get some images and share them on social media so I can actually see you using them in your gaming setup because I think they're really cool stuff. So if we were to choose this uh, blue minimalistic one, for example, which is one of my personal favorite, it would just go ahead, just literally press A on the image that you want to choose and then bang, it will be applied to your console. And then just like that, we've got this beautiful uh, image right here. I just think it looks absolutely amazing. And also all these wallpaper packs that also apply to your PC as well. So if you want to choose them on your gaming PC, absolute treat. But as you can currently see on this image here, our green Xbox settings logo and sort of our dashboard stuff is clashing a bit. It's not the right shade of color. So we can go one step further and actually customize the color of our Xbox console to make it tie in with these themes. I've thought everything through guys, you know, we've made these themes so they actually tie in with the Xbox color palette. So everything's complete. So it's way better than any rubbish that you get for free off of Google. So if we then 
head back to our settings and go to personalization and then go down to my color and themes. Here you can change your personal color of your Xbox, your, your whatever color you want your, your icons and tiles to be. So if we were to go ahead and choose this sort of teal green uh, one over here then just click okay to apply that. Yep, looks fantastic. Now if we go back to our Xbox homepage, you'll now see that this green sort of ties in with that mountain in the background. So it all looks like it's being planned out, <laughs> which is pretty nice. Now I'll leave a link down below over to this wallpaper pack if you want to check it out. But remember, you don't have to buy it and do the exact same stuff that I've just showed you and go on Google, get your own images and I'm fine with it. This is just a cool way if you want to support the channel uh, and support like a really huge video that I'm trying to create at the moment, which is costing a lot of money. <laughs> that would be absolutely brilliant. If you want to learn about some more cool things that your Xbox can do, you should watch this video next where I show you 10 different hidden features on your Xbox consoles.